What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Brew here. Welcome to you to another episode of Dangin' Robot 2, Goodbye Despair. Um, in the last episode, we got the rest of our trial pieces. Um, and so we got to kind of see what was going on in the trial. So, of course, for your guys' sake, what I'm going to do is open up my e-handbook and show you guys some of the truth bullets that we found. So we have Monokuma File 2, which we learned that... Mahiru was dead at 3 p.m. The crime scene was the beach house at Chandler, and she got killed by the bat. Uh, there was no other conspicuous injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs or anything in the body, so she did not die from anything that she ingested. It was just the whack to the head. Um, the footprints on the beach... Oh, that's it's supposed to go like this. The footprints on the beach was uh, Hiyoko's... Um, I'm not making anything of that yet because I'm not 100% sure. If I think that's just a red herring. Um, then we have the metal bat, um, which the metal bat was the thing that was used to kill Mihiru. Um, the trash can that just had water. Um, so that's cool. Um, this anime girl mask, which I don't necessarily know what it's about. Other than this is about... Um, like, Sonia has said that this is about... Um, like a justice serial killer that's for justice, which is interesting. Yellow gummy bear that we found in the closet. The shower room and what's in there, um, which was the iron barbed window that you can get out. And we learned that you can get out of this window, um, kind of. It's like nine feet in the air though, so it would take a lot uh, to get out of that and it, a lot more planning. Um, and we would have seen more evidence of that. The fish, the fish tank, I'm not 100% sure what this, how this correlates, but it was tipped over um, and was found in the music room where the first body was discovered, um, which is interesting, um, in the, in the uh, video game. Uh, <coughs> also within the video game, the broken window where the uh, person escaped from to get away from the main area, Girl E um, had her swimsuit stolen. Uh, the ending prize, which had four photographs um, and a note: try playing Twilight Syndrome over after uh, you get uh, or you get the game over. Press down five times for the real game. You should remember what you did to my sister, and we'll talk then. Uh, ending photos of the entrance hall with the three girls that were involved um, in the Twilight game. The vase that broke. This person who died, and so that was like a replica murder. Um, and then girl E in her dead body. And then Gummy Bears and Hiyoko Note. And then, of course, the autopsy report where she died instantly. So that's kind of what's going on. That's what we got to look at. Um, what are we going to rebuttal first? I don't know. But let's get into it. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of Good, Monokuma's at 45. Good, good, Monokuma. Look at you go. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome murder case. Uh, yeah. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. Is there a way? Oh. Can I not access settings? I can't. I wanted to turn the game. Who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. There I can't. I I should have done it. Ah, I can't go to my my handbook now. <laughs> I was going to lower down the music volume and upper the um they're talking, but okay. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. So Paco didn't touch the game. Twilight Syndrome murder case is a non-fiction game. A 
Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? Don't worry, Nekamaru, you're not one of them. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Agreed, Chiaki. Characters in the game were girl A, girl B, girl C, girl D, girl E, and girl boy F. And the high school girl got, got killed at the beginning. By using the staff role after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. The first character the player was able to control was girl A. The true identity of girl A is probably what the? Um, Mekon? Definitely sounds like girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be girl A. Why am I in a video game? And it has an infringement of my right to privacy. <laughs> a nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. It was! Huh? Wasn't it girl D? Damn. Oh, um, C then. No. Damn it. Wow, I'm already <laughs> uh B. <I> see. <laughs> We're going in letter order. It should have been obvious, but. Short and foul mouth. She's probably Hyoka. <laughs> Good try. Anyway, let's move on. Next is girl C. Hyper energetic and unique. Ibuki. I see. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Oh gosh. Let's move on to girl D. There's only one person who's always had the camera with them. I see. Girl D is Mahira, the victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Fuyuhiko. I see. Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Mm. Mm. That reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason Fuyuhiko's last name is Kuzuryu appears twice. I it's true, I have a hunch, but to call out to call me out like that, Nagito, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason Fuyuhiko's last name is Kuzuryu appears twice is probably because because he had a little sister. I can prove it with this. In the game, Guy F, Kuzuryu, mentions that he has a little sister. <clears throat> hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. Because that's girl By the E. Way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed. I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game that I can see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. That makes sense. The high school girl that died at the beginning. I see. The 
dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Gaev's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. Yeah. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. That's right, because girl E is the one that dropped out the photo, so it couldn't be girl E. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. Ah, uh, we're passing off the fact that she's dead. It's just a game? It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the movie. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that, you're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. That was a smart way to go about it, honestly. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? I mean, I do, but I can't go too hard on him right now. Mystery that easy would make me feel sad. That's true. <laughs> you wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. What the heck? That's a wild connection. Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going on. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? <laughs> oh, oh, do I ever. My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. The reason girl E was killed, I should be able to assume why based on the context of the game. Girl E interfered with the murder? Crap. No. No. I'm, I have to go too fast. Uh, I see. Whoa. Oh! The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. 
which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But, but... It, is it... Is that true? Girl E, she, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. I am too. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. That's also true. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case. <laughs> I, I, I forgot Nekamaru doesn't like video games. <laughs> I had a whole discussion about how he'd have to deal with it. <laughs> oh, I, whoops. Understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girl E was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock <coughs> the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then, forget this! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet! Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then what did girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. Wow, this is our first actual, like, argument. Okay. Oh, Jesus, there's so much. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Um... After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music room? She probably used a hidden passageway. 
Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best. What do girl eat? What girl did after the murder in the music room? I need to clarify that. After she killed the first victim in the music in room. Nope. That's right. The most mysterious mysteries are solved in a flash. Why a mysterious passageway? The problem is the fact that there was even a secret is that there was even a secret passageway in the first place. That's the most important part. Okay. No. Okay. Chiaki said earlier too. Four of them weren't the first call. It's okay for Chiaki to say it, but I'm not allowed to. No. Huh? They said it in the game, right? In order to get to the front of the music room from the outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Trying to find a flaw with the setting of the game is like ignoring the rules of tag. No. Okay. Am I? Is it Nekamaru's statement? Just broke the window in the music room. And I'm just blinded because Nekamaru said it. Escaped outside. Heard the sound of the window shadow. No. That opinion. Do you intend to argue with me? Right, if you try and find a fault where there is none, I'm going to seriously be butt hurt. Uh, I mean, I don't want you butt hurt, but like honestly, let me figure out what's going on and why I'm failing. No. Crap. 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 Wow. After she killed the first victim and played girl. That's my first rebuttal and my first argument. And I'm already flubbing like crazy. I, I cannot believe that I already died. And it was a timeout death. No. Mm. No. No, that's wrong. It was Nekamaru. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window. Then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred, and that the killer had just escaped. So... When the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. I see. Now the mystery has been solved. Wait a minute. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet. Very true. Murder weapon. Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. Not cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end. <laughs> Monokuma's was like, I don't care. You're dealing with what this. The heck? You're so annoying. Fine. Let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Which means I'll feel disgusting. You're the disgusting one. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. If we're told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. Hmm? What do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Now then. There's something I need to tell you regarding non-stop debate, or the white noise and non-stop debates. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable, and you won't destroy them in one shot. Oh, God. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with the silencer, but unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if your difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear at all. You get the gist of it by now, right? It appears the debate is getting tougher, so I've obtained some very useful information. I've heard that there's this guy named Ga something. Apparently, he has a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Oh! So if I talk to Gundam, then I can not have to... Gun something. I wonder who it is. 
was I out of line just now? Well then, good luck and have fun. So I have to I have to talk to Gundam is what the game's telling me. If I want stronger silencer. The broken fish tank is the thing that I'm looking at right now. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Even if you back me up with your half-assed opinion, it'll just ruin the theory's credibility. Ha! Huh, it's not even a theory! I thought you were just making a stupid joke. Oh, Well, I was hopeful that I was going to get the like, immediate one. No. Think you talked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a oh, that's what it means by durable. It's on that so okay, so I am supposed to do that one. No. It should have had blood stains. Ah, boy. But inside the music room, what about broken glass? Nope. Damn it. I have to try it. Before I die, anyway. Uh, I had to throw something at the wall and see if it stuck somehow and saved me. Um, crap. How have I already died twice? Blood stains. Could have had blood stains. Blood stains. No. Should have had blood stains. Now I reckon she beat her to death with her fist. Damn it! It should have had blood stains. What the hell? It should have had blood stains. We're back a whole 24 hours later. We love it. We're here for it. Um, so, we've been making some thinkings and trying to figure out what the heck the murder weapon was. What it could have been, how in the world it is imperative to our situation. We have to figure out what the heck the murder weapon is. But, now let's talk about um, durable white noise, which we already figured out because you guys already saw that. Inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Stupid as usual. <laughs> blow to the head? Think you talked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's not the escape route. So big a scale too? Beating her with gravel instead. So that's what I'm thinking. That was used to beat them to death. It should have had blood stains. If there was a weapon, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? No. She beat her to death with her fist. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about so glass? it wouldn't necessarily have to have I mean, it would have blood on it Think you talked her with the fish tank. but you could dispose of it and that's where that's what what i was missing yeah. yesterday because i was like oh well if you can't like Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal like i was being way too logical here i wasn't being thought i didn't be i wasn't being thought provoking there it is Thank Frick. I was overthinking that hard last night. Oh my God. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness. 
I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> just as I thought, I'm chosen by the gods. You're not chosen at all. And gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. Gravel in and of itself is. What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? The weapon is something that appeared in the game, and so is the bat. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bat and stuff it full of gravel, it'll make an effective weapon. 